Our photojournalist Jordan Lewis investigates for you. scary. I don't care who you are, how much you love the battleship. That's it's just simply going to be that way. A fire that started in a dumpster, but folks really took action to make sure everyone was safe and OK. I don't think it's going to be quite as bad as it was this morning. Now, they say they're also dealing with quite a bit of flooding around the city. Quite a few roads are closed, so we checked in on some of those neighborhoods. Now, Norfolk not only wants the tide to move out east to the beach, but also have a western expansion with more service throughout Norfolk. Tomorrow, city council members will vote on a resolution I feel her with all my heart. She was a real good person and a real good friend. She had been missing for days. Then a crime line tip led police to her body in a vacant house. The investigator in the case says it was the most horrific scene she's ever come across. Crime line tips also led police to the suspect. This right here doesn't compare to what I've always been through. That's why I can look at this and smile. Ready, two, aim, fire. Shot. Two, aim, fire. By shot. Two, aim, fire. Sailors saluted their fallen brother, Mike Oyer. They folded the American flag and placed it in his wife's arms. These stars and stripes, all she has left to hold on to. Hard for her to overcome is her lack of movement. Time spends most days strapped into this wheelchair, unable to walk without assistance. So any chance she gets, she wants out. This is the worst of the damage to the Lynn Haven Fishing Pier after Sandy tore through the area. Though it's still not something owner Hoyt Duff wants to see, he's relieved it's not worse. A contractor who came out this morning agreed. Heartache at the Harvard Apartments this afternoon after fire ripped through eight units. Authorities say the fire started in this dumpster and spread to the building. Anything suspicious with this fire? No, we don't have any reason to suspect anything suspicious. Tamara Kelsey collects angels, keeps them in her front yard. I pay attention pretty good to the kids around here. The Reese kids are taking full advantage of the playground at Sleepy Hole Park. Here she is tonight. Virginia Beach recognized Olympic champion Gabby Douglas during the Neptune Festival at the Oceanfront. That's Stevie Wonder playing in front of a packed house tonight at the Scope in downtown Norfolk. Prepare yourself for the most important day of your life. With the seventh pick in the 2012 NBA Draft. With the 32nd pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, the Washington Wizards select Tomas Satoransky. Instead of carrying around anywhere from four to seven textbooks for class, all of that information can be stored on their iPad. A new scheme to this scam, con artists are going on Facebook pages to research family members. In Suffolk. Did you, did you get it? Todd Carrillo, News Channel 3. Can I see it? 